Some say LG's latest smartphone is a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 copycat. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the LG Optimus G Pro versus a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. When Samsung unveiled the 5.3 inch Galaxy Note in 2011, few imagined it would ever blossom into a thriving, popular brand. There was a time when 4.3 inch smartphones were considered too large, so it was hard to see how a 5.3 inch phone would be necessary, or wanted. Yet the Galaxy Note was a surprising success for Samsung, and one year later it introduced the Galaxy Note 2. But not before other companies jumped on the smartphone tablet hybrid bandwagon. LG was among the first to recognize Samsung's success in the blossoming market and introduced some so-called phablets of its own. The Optimus View, the Optimus View 2, and now the Optimus G Pro. From day one, many have considered the Optimus G Pro to be a Galaxy Note 2 lookalike, almost a carbon copy. Although the two devices have their differences in hardware, design, and even feel, it's impossible to deny where LG got its inspiration for the Optimus G Pro. It's like they thought, oh, let's use that design, but slightly tweak it and stuff better specifications inside. Both the Galaxy Note 2 and the Optimus G Pro feature chassis made almost entirely of plastic. The Galaxy Note 2 incorporates a more smooth, rounded design, while the Optimus G Pro's edges are sharper. Both are equipped with 5.5-inch displays on the front, paired with a single physical home button beneath. Flanking the home buttons are capacitive buttons for menu and back, but note that the order is different on each. The Galaxy Note 2 sports its back button on the right, and the menu button on the left. The Optimus G Pro has a back button on the left and menu to the right. Also, the Optimus G Pro's home button doubles as a notification light, which is nice, but the tactility of the button feels very cheap, almost like a hollow toy, versus a silent smooth click of the brush button on the Note 2. There are similarities all around the edges, such as button and port placement. Power button on the upper portion of the right edge, volume rocker on the left, headphone jack on the top left corner, and micro USB bottom center. The Optimus G Pro does have an additional button though, the Q button for a user-defined shortcut. At 172 grams, the Optimus G Pro is noticeably lighter than the 183 gram Galaxy Note 2, and as surprising as it may be, the Optimus G Pro feels less substantial and more flimsy, cheaper, than the Note 2. Both are 9.4 millimeters thick, yet the Note 2 feels thinner thanks to the tapered edges. That said, the Optimus G Pro is physically narrower than the Note 2 by a noticeable 4.4 millimeters. LG cut all the unnecessary bezel from around the sides of the display on the G Pro, while the Note 2 features roughly double the bezel on each side. Although the Galaxy Note 2 feels more sturdy and substantial, if you can overlook how lightweight and cheap it feels, the Optimus G Pro certainly has the upper hand in hardware and design. Once you take a look inside, the differences between the two extra large smartphones become quite clear. The 5.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 2 is a 720p HD Super AMOLED panel at roughly 267 pixels per inch. The Optimus G Pro features a 5.5 inch 1080p true full HD IPS Plus display at 401 pixels per inch, and the difference is quite apparent. The saturation and contrast of the AMOLED panel are definitely far greater than the LCD on the Optimus G Pro. Both offer great viewing angles and brightness, but the Optimus G Pro wins by landslide in color reproduction and clarity. Other specifications for the Galaxy Note 2 include 1632 or 64GB of built-in storage, a microSD card slot, a 1.6GHz quad-core Exynos chipset, an 8MPx camera, 2GB of RAM, and a 3100mAh battery. The Optimus G Pro has 32GB of built-in storage, a microSD card slot for expansion, 1.7GHz quad-core Snapdragon 600 chip, 2GB of RAM, 13MP camera, and a 3140mAh battery. Both come with your typical host of connections, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, Wi-Fi BGN, etc. And both come with HSPA Plus connectivity, though the Note 2 supports far more bands. And both offer LTE connectivity, but our Galaxy Note 2 is the global variant, which lacks LTE support. At first glance, the software on the Optimus G Pro and the Galaxy Note 2 look very similar. LG's custom interface mimics the more popular TouchWiz Nature UX by taking some design cues from nature, and including various nature wallpapers, and a water droplet lock screen animation. LG also included miniature Q slide apps for videos, TV, internet, memo, and Q voice, not unlike pop-up browser, pop-up video, or S-Note on the Galaxy Note 2. In the multitasking field, the Galaxy Note 2 has a major advantage, multi-window and S-Pen, 
Not only can you open SNO atop any application using the S Pen, you could technically have three or four applications open at once using multi-window, pop-up browser, and SNOTE. Sure, it's a little ridiculous, but it's there for the taking. But the more you use LG's interface, the more it becomes clear how much more in-depth and heavily laden LG's customizations truly are. The settings app, for example, is tabbed and hardly looks anything like the stock settings app. Also, the Optimus G Pro comes with a ton of various applications pre-installed, 78 to be exact. Those vary from the usual apps like Google+, YouTube, or the camera, to LG's own apps like Smart Wallet, Q Translator, Q Shopping, Smart Touch, and many, many more. The notification shade is another area where the Galaxy Note 2 and Optimus G Pro have a lot in common. Along the top are numerous settings toggles for Wi-Fi, GPS, or airplane mode. It also has a slider for display brightness, but the Optimus G Pro also has room for the Q Slide apps. Performance is an area neither of these devices struggle in. The Optimus G Pro Snapdragon 600 gave it a little more muscle for synthetic benchmarks. Using the Antutu, for example, the Optimus G Pro scored an impressive 19,935 to the Galaxy Note 2 16,241. And using the Quadrant Standard Test, the Optimus G Pro scored a staggering 12,076, while the Galaxy Note 2 scored a more average 6,814. Lastly, in the SunSpider JavaScript Test, the Optimus G Pro took the cake once again with a score of 956.9 milliseconds to the Galaxy Note 2's 1060 milliseconds. But in day-to-day -day performance, both of these devices operate on a very high level, showing little to no signs of lag or stuttering when switching between applications or running multiple applications a la pop-up browser, Q-slide apps, or multi-window. We haven't had the Optimus G Pro long enough to comment fairly on battery life, but the Galaxy Note 2 on most days lasts for an entire day of moderate to heavy usage, seldom requiring an additional charge to get through the day. If the 3140 mAh battery performs as well as the 3100 mAh battery in the Galaxy Note 2, there should be nothing to worry about. And for those getting this Korean model, it comes with a spare battery and dock that doubles as a battery charger in the box. Lastly, cameras. Both devices are on par with one another in the software side of things. The interfaces are equally easy to understand and use and both feature almost the exact same modes, such as burst shot, panorama, best shot, etc. As far as output goes, the Galaxy Note 2 is regarded as having one of the best 8 megapixel cameras on a smartphone, ever. The Optimus G Pro comes equipped with a 13 megapixel sensor. Side by side, the output of these two cameras is quite different. The Galaxy Note 2 tends to produce warmer, much more saturated pictures, while the Optimus G Pro tends to produce more washed out pictures. However, its pictures offer more detail and a higher output resolution. Actual true-to-life colors lie somewhere in between the super saturation of the Galaxy Note 2 and the washed-out pictures on the Optimus G Pro. That said, both cameras are about on par in terms of detail and quality. And if you're pleased with the performance of the Galaxy Note 2's camera, you should be mostly pleased with the Optimus G Pro's camera. It's not the best, but it's nowhere near the worst. After all is said and done, if you're in the market for a 5.5-inch device, both the Optimus G Pro and the Galaxy Note 2 are both high caliber devices. The Optimus G Pro, of course, is newer and offers a slight boost in performance and a much higher resolution and higher density display. The Galaxy Note 2, nearing 7 months old, is beginning to show some age, and it could be months before we see another successor. On a device with a 5.5 inch display, 1080p matters, which gives the Optimus G Pro some clout. And LG has come a long way with phablet oriented software. The Optimus G Pro is finally a nice entry from LG in the extra-large smartphone category, and it gives the Galaxy Note 2 a run for its money. That said, the Galaxy Note 2 feels and operates like a more refined product. If you need the latest and greatest, the Optimus G Pro will suit your needs. But if you want a device with a little more polish, despite its age, go with the Galaxy Note 2. That's all for now, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more Optimus G Pro content over the next week. You can follow us on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow, or you can follow me at CasperTech on Twitter. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.